LPG gang, what's happening? Let's see what's going on today. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah, of course, of course. So that is collective read day. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you in your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description of box. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit that subscribe. Thank you for being here. Also, again, I'll do again in this video. Shout out to my subscriber, Amy from Ohio, for the costume of jewelry. I love them. All right, so let's see what's going on. All right, so something is going on with money. Okay, I'm gonna take these top two, the rest I'm gonna put back. But we have children. Um, you may have children with this person that could be causing some money problems for some of you. All right, so this we have time with friends. Surround yourself with people who genuinely care about your well being and offer support from a loving place. Love that. And then we have confidence, okay? This is believing yourself and have confidence that you possess the necessary qualities to attract what you desire. Okay, so some of you may be trying to attract love. Um, you may be in a situation right now um, where things aren't going well. You two might be fighting over money. Could be with a Leo or a Leo. Oh, yeah, because there's that five of pentacles on the bottom. There could be a money issue here going on, either with you or the person on your mind. Collective. Hmm. Hmm. You may be meeting someone new or um, your friend may just come off as the as this uh, king of wands here. Mm -hmm. We have the four of swords, two of wands, Ooh, the five of swords here on the bottom. Interesting. Yeah. Some of you are taking a break from a partner or a partnership to kind of focus on you. That's been like the theme here lately you're you're kind of trying to decide what it is that what you want to do next some of you need to get very specific about what it is that you want in a partner if you're single you need to get very very specific about what it is that you want in your partner queen of pentacles knight of pentacles and the seven of cups you may have someone younger than you that is going to come in and um surprise you with something now, this could be someone that isn't as financially stable as you, especially with the money matters here. We have this, this knight coming here with this queen. So they may see you as, um, you know, a little bit more financially stable or it's reversed. It's, it's vice versa. <sighs> you guys. So, yeah, I'm seeing here that you're on somebody. You, you have caught someone's eye. <laughs> you're on somebody's radar here. Yes, <laughs> I'm not taking none of these, but oh, very interesting energy. So the star I have to cover up, but the page of cups, knight of cups, the judgment, the ace of wands, the justice. Oh, someone may be in jail. Okay, let's see. Thank you, spirits. We have the fool. Mm -hmm. Oh, six of cups. Somebody might be getting that good old I miss you. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing that song by uh by Chris Chris I almost called him Chris Tucker. <laughs> Chris Brown and uh Janae, the uh drunk texting. Somebody might drunk text you. Yeah, I'm hearing that. Y'all go y'all look that up. Look that up on YouTube. Um Drunk Texting by Chris Brown. And I think the girl on there is Janae, uh I never say her name right. Janae Aiko, I think. Um that's what I'm hearing. Somebody like reaching out to you on a whim, like you you getting some type of I miss you text or something like that. But I also get to with this is, you know, go out and have some fun or do something like on a whim, like take a trip or something, take a road trip or something like that. The strength card here on the bottom, heavy Leo. I see earth and um, the king of wands again. Y'all looking here. Um yeah you somebody you have caught somebody's eye it may be through social media six of wands here oop the empress here on the bottom you caught somebody's eye <gasps> the king of cups i don't know there's too many kings going on around here uh yeah you didn't call somebody's eye in a major major way you guys i don't know what's going on here but uh Someone could watch your social media like they they may watch you online 
um, or at your job or something like that. I feel like someone has, has been kind of watching you before they approach. It could be too like this person like wanting to get their money right. Want to make sure they have their money together before they say anything to you or before they return. I'll find out more if this is past. I am the six of wands again. So some of you, this is this kind of gives me like online social media advice because this is like somebody that's seen. I feel like because you see that she's sitting on this on this throne type thing. Usually it's a horse, but it's a bike here, and there's people around cheering her on and things like that. Could also be a concert, but I mean the more realistic thing about this is social media because this is like someone around a lot of people. Um, so I feel like somebody could watch you on social media. And they've been watching you for quite some time, trying to plan how to make their move. <laughs> Eight of Wands. What the hell is going on? Okay, so this card fell next to this Six of Cups. So let's see what's under here, y'all. So I'm seeing the Ace of Wands, the Five of Wands. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, this is someone from the past, I feel like. Seven of Cups. It doesn't have to be, but yeah. But this could also be like a surprise because sometimes Seven of Cups gives surprise vibes depending on what other cards are with it. Yeah, somebody's coming towards you quickly. Heavy Leo. Heavy fire in general um, or Earth. Somebody taking this leap of faith and you might be out. Now, if this isn't someone that you know, I feel like, um, or this isn't a past person, this could be someone that's like um, an acquaintance or an acquaintance of an acquaintance, if that makes sense. Because you could be like out with friends um, and um, this person approaches you. Now, I love how the King of Wands is here under the confidence. So I feel like this person is gaining confidence or it's you like this person is attracted to your confidence wow wow the king of pentacles so now we have a divine pair here we have the chariot somebody is coming in could be a cancer more more of that earth the world yeah so maybe this is a reconciliation of some sort yeah and they're doing it somebody's doing this on a whim which is so this is not king of pentacles like like king of pentacles isn't a risk taker okay but somebody is is about to kind of tap into that king of wands for a little bit um or this is two different people child and i don't see anything else unless you see like the three of cups or something three of pentacles but i don't really see that it's multiple people yet now for some of you that's the case okay um but uh yeah Someone that kind of moves a little slow um, is about to kind of go for it with you. Mm-hmm. Now, what's interesting is this card is saying talk to your partner about your finances to ensure you have the same financial perspective and goals. But I'm seeing the king and the queen of pentacles here. So it makes me wonder, you guys, is this... Um, do you guys... Is this someone that is financially stable? The King of Swords. Well, the world again. Yep, somebody. The world, the Page of Wands, the Six of Swords. Now, for for a lot of you, this is someone that is is uh, from the past. It doesn't have to be, but because it's two ways to look at this. One person is is a past person that has been wanting to reconcile with you but hasn't had the confidence to do it. Another person is someone that you've never dated, but you may know of through social media or whatever, um, or around the way, um, that hasn't had the confidence to approach you, and they are. Like someone is, is finally gaining the confidence to say something to you, and they're charging ahead, whoever this is. I see heavy earth and heavy fire here. It could be any sign. But I also see uh, Aquarius, Capricorn, Cancer as well. Yep, for some of you, you're going to meet someone while you're out. Um, but I feel like some of you guys, it could just be um, spirit wanting you to kind of redirect your energy from a person in particular with the time with friends. Or you're going to meet someone while you're out and about with friends. Or friends that may be playing a role with this person uh, approaching you um, or saying something to you or your friends. For that matter, you may also share friends. Like I said earlier, 
this could be a friend of a friend but i feel like somebody is very interested and it's like they they're finally getting the confidence uh they're, they're getting confident enough to finally say something to you after all this time and it's been a while i mean this person has been watching you for a while okay um let me pull a couple of the kipper and see what comes out with this but this person why do i keep seeing this in the readings something about winning some money see it's, there's more money something with something with money so some of you mm, you might be meeting somebody with money now your last person may not have money uh <laughs> Now this talks about winning money though. So someone may have may win money uh or get some type of inheritance or something. Cuz this this card literally came out earlier. So child, somebody may come across or win some money or something and want to spend it on you. I feel like someone's um someone's hold up with with coming towards you is their is their self-esteem um it's around their financial situation so i feel like something could be improving with someone's financial situation and that's contributing to their their newfound confidence collective so you know oh see i'm seeing this again i saw this in the gemini read so what's on top is a fatality so what i'm getting here Someone could have passed and they got an inheritance. I wonder if that's the thing for the for the Gemini read that I did too. Someone could have passed away and they got an inheritance from something. Look at that. This was in the... What the f*** is going on? We have love here on the bottom. Yeah. This could be someone older than you too. Or someone could be getting some type of inheritance from someone. Someone in their family passed. I wonder if this is you, Collective. Now, if, whoever this is, I feel like you already know of a passing. So I don't feel like this is this is predicting a passing for you. I feel like if there if if there is a passing, um, you're already aware of it, okay? Or you're already aware that it's coming, all right? Um, and you could be getting some type of large inheritance from that, or this person got some type of inheritance or, or some type of money could be a um father figure yeah this could also be like it's this it's just an older male because look at these two pictures it, it just could be you could be meeting some type of older male here um that's going to be financially well off okay or it's just someone that is a lot more financially well off than when you dealt with them okay so take the story how it resonates with you but with the love here we have up under there we have courtship i saw that one too uh we have good match compatibility romantic love friendship falling in love love affair loyalty and trust so yeah you're about to be heavily heavily courted by somebody and i mean like really wine and dine and this person is going to do the most for you like the absolute most i don't want to say he rich because i'm not going to give nobody's hopes up but somebody is financially stable here uh collective and this is someone that's that has been that's been watching you for quite some time um and this may not even be a person on your mind this could be somebody that is totally different i see didn't i say somebody was gonna take a risk y'all look it's the urn is on the bottom somebody could have lost someone and got an inheritance from it this one is talking about lost death forfeiture grief bereaved yeah take a higher resonance with you somebody may have come come into some money you guys so hopefully <laughs> um this isn't the case for some of you karma you getting good karma for some of you this is a mirror. This is the self-aware. This someone could be coming, becoming a lot more self-aware. I feel like this could be someone that lacked confidence at one point or another, and they're in a better space now. Somebody that's been watching you for quite some time, um, you guys. So I'll take that. Oh, we have the unconditional love card here, which is Taurus, and that's the King of Pentacles. Ooh, some of y'all may meet in the Taurus. 
Uh, some things within a few weeks, and then we have still this is Taurus again. What the hell is going on? Yeah. Okay, so we have uh, this one is refinement. Some of you are gonna meet somebody that is older and well established, y'all. Cause listen to this: refinement, taste, culture, style, fine tune, concentrate, develops over time, purify, filter, draw out infusion spirits alcohol perfume reduction and cultivation doesn't that just sound like somebody that's older and well established <laughs> um so the first thing that came out was dice which is sagittarius this is gamble taking a risk luck playing games chances are roll with it random i feel like this is more so taking a risk because that's what i got with the full card here like somebody that's been kind of stuck stagnant it's finally got the confidence to just go for it with you, you guys. Uncertain outcome, despite not knowing how you're going to take it. Okay. Potential fate. And what happens next? Love that. Then we have roundabout, which is Pisces. This is community directions, new direction, uh, connections, new direction. Keep it moving. Controls the flow of information. Solution. Circular reasoning, fluid, many working parts, perfect timing and redirect. Yeah, this person's going to come in your life right at the right time. But I feel like there, there's other things that are in play here. Have you ever seen that show, The OA, where it talks about how everything is connected? This is what this gives me. Wow, this is a dope ass reading. It's like everything kind of plays a role. There's going to be certain friends that play a role, certain people, acquaintances on their end that play a role in you meeting this person or you coming back together with this person or you coming together with this person. So this one is Cancer, the constellation. Uh, this is Network, Support, Associates, Gathered, Meeting, Socialize. See, I feel like you're going to meet somebody while you're out with friends or something to do with their friends or your friends has to do with it or y'all share friends. A collection, exchanging data, arrangement, influence or influencer for some of you um, in connection with a large amount or quantity told you this has to do with like a lot of people some of you social media plays a role in this okay um and then we have sap which is virgo which is resources needed materials flow wealth essence of life spring blood nourishment sweetness energy vitality grounded roots abundance Physical health, health, physical health and life force. Wow, collective. I don't know. I hope this does um, resonate with you guys. All right. Hit those likes. Hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.